let's talk about learner centered innovation. Oh, let's do so it. Why? First of all, because we're looking at some like books that are a little bit older. Yeah. Why did you write it? Like, do you even remember that process? Like what even got you to, you know, make that jump from blogging and then actually putting it into a book that you yeah. kind of can never change <laughs> ever. It's there forever. It's there forever, for sure. Forever. Um, well, I mean, I think I never imagined myself as an author, never in a million years. Yeah. And going through the process with you was super empowering. I loved it. I loved being able to think about how to put these ideas together and the reaction of what people got from Innovator's Mindset really inspired me to think about you know, I had been getting some reaction from my blogs and when we did iMOOC, you know, and I started thinking about, I have ideas that are similar, but different and going yeah. around professional learning about the things I was learning in classrooms as I was doing this work around the country that I thought I started to get the confidence that maybe I could write that and maybe it would be helpful and beneficial. And um, it was a longer journey. I remember writing the table of contents and moving it around a hundred different times and kind of tweaking around the edges. And when I finally just started writing it, um, it, it felt like it was, it was something that would be beneficial for educators. Yeah. And you know, it's kind of weird. Cause like I've written several books and I, like, it's still, I still struggle with that term author, like when yeah. people, because it's really you. And I think this is what makes your work so, approachable is that it's really you sharing learning right yeah. in that space and i think both of you kind of that approach like hey we talk about innovation this is something we're really passionate about but we're also not the experts the experts are in the classrooms we're just sharing some of our journey yeah. to hopefully help people uh, uh, along the way and i think you know anyone who's looking to write a book i think it's really kind of just starting with your learning and it, it makes it a more, much more approachable because it's like hey i can i can take that or I can modify this, I can change this too. And I think that that's kind of that approach, right? Like that, you'd see that. I know you're very responsive to sharing your learning as you go. Well, I think that was a big piece of it. I was like, it was going to be helpful for educators, not because I had all the right answers, mm -hmm. but because I was seeing what was working, what was challenging, what opportunities existed in classrooms and schools and systems around the country. And that learning and being able to see that the themes across those different systems, that's what I thought was going to be something that people could also learn from as I was making sense of not only what was great practice, but what was possible. And especially coming out of this was 2018, when I think the book was published. So a lot of the learning was like 15, 16, 17, when technology and going one to one was starting to become this big deal. And technology alone, we have talked a lot yeah. about this. Yeah. We knew it was not enough. It had to be much more about why are you using the technology? What are your goals? And how, how are we going to really make an impact on learners? Well, you know, when you're saying something, you and I, and it's kind of interesting because you're like, you and I have very similar beliefs. Mm -hmm. um, but we have, I would say, in some spaces, different approaches. Sure. And in, in, and, I know, I know I, I wrote about this. I know you've helped me with my stuff and I don't know if you remember this, but when I hired, um, when I was a principal, I hired an assistant principal mm -hmm. who was a little bit of a thorn in my side as a teacher. <laughs> and that was part of the reason I hired her because she would challenge stuff that I would say, but I knew she had the same goals that I did, but she had a different yeah. approach. And that's, that's something that really matters to me is that, um, I wanted to hire, I didn't want to hire a second George, right. right? I wanted to hire someone that had a different way would challenge me on some stuff and would help me grow. And, but also would, and weirdly enough, and I'm sure you understand this too, that some of my staff would be more comfortable connecting with her because of how she approached things. And some mm -hmm. of them would be more comfortable approaching me and vice versa. 